So, you want to be a VTuber, but you can't decide if you're in Team 2D or 3D. Heck, you might not even know what the differences are, really. So, you came into my little sweet boba shop to learn. How wonderful is this? Because now, after you're done watching this video, you're going to become the best VTuber like no other. Now sit down, hit that subscribe button, bobas, and watch this entire video to learn about the VTuber limbo hell of 2D and 3D. So let's get started on how to become a VTuber. First, what exactly is a VTuber? A VTuber is an online entertainer that makes YouTube content or live streams. They are usually represented with an animated avatar and this avatar is usually created with a program called Live2D if you wanna be a 2D model or if you wanna be a 3D model, you have it digitally animated in a 3D space. Okay, so you know what a VTuber is and you know that there are 2D VTubers and 3D VTubers. Cool. Now, I know that being a PNG VTuber is also a thing, but that's not going to be the main focus on this video. We're going to be focusing specifically on some of the differences between a 2D model and a 3D model since I see so many people having this debate on what makes a true VTuber. If you want to know more about my thoughts on PNG tubers, then make sure you click the little card above and I will link you to a video about PNG VTubing. So depending on what your goals are as a virtual YouTuber or a virtual streamer will determine if you want to be a 2D or a 3D VTuber. So what are the differences? A 2D VTuber has a model that is much more anime-like for their avatar. These are basically flat drawings that get dissected and sectioned off into different parts. And then these parts get transformed and dwarfed and go through all sorts of animations, otherwise known as rigging. Pretty much think of an anime Frankenstein that comes to life. 2D models are super popular because of how aesthetically pleasing it is to look at. Also, if you like art or if you're a fan of a particular artist, this option might interest you because, well, aesthetics is everything in 2021. There are a lot less limitations when it comes to a live 2D model. And what I mean by that is artistic freedom. You have so much more freedom to make the avatar that you really see fit. I noticed that the popularity of 2D models has increased over the West compared to before where it would be primarily seen with Japanese VTubers. And of course, with popularity, there's going to be a price tag. So what are you looking at to start as a 2D model? First, keep in mind, you need to know how to draw. And if you can't draw anything more than a stick figure, wait, is there a stick figure VTuber? Then you're gonna have to commission someone. This will vary in price range depending on the artist, so make sure you shop around until you find some art that resonates with you. This might take some time. Of course, it depends on the artist's schedule, it depends if they have a waitlist or if they're even taking commissions. So make sure that if you're going to use a live 2D model, you're ready for a full-time commitment. Some artists may also do rigging, which will end up costing more, or you might have to just take that art and go find a separate rigger. The other option is to buy an illustration. These are more adoptable OCs that you can claim the art for to become a VTuber with. I did this and found my mama a Nizima. So like I said, once you got your model art, you will either need to rig the animation yourself, and don't worry, there are a lot, a lot of tutorials on that, or you hire a rigger. This will also vary in price range, so check out different VTuber discords, subreddits, and Twitter accounts to find someone you wanna work with. And if you are trying to rig your own model, then kudos to you because even though there are a lot of tutorials on it and there are so many resources and you can get live 2D cubism for a free trial, it is a lot of work. And I mean a lot, a lot of work. You need to have dedication if you're gonna try to do all of that yourself. Okay, so you decided to become a 2D VTuber, you got your art commission and your rigor is ready to give life to your avatar. What are some things that you should keep in mind about being a live 2D VTuber? Well, 2D models have limitations with what you can do in terms of movement. You have full on artistic freedom. You can make it look however you want. However, because it's a flat image that is programmed to only move in a specific way, you will have to make custom animations that can be hooked with a hotkey or if you wanna do different expressions. Live 2D models have been expanding with their animations. I have seen some really crazy, smooth animations and rigs coming with new models. Beyond whatever custom animations you get on your avatar, it can't really do anything else. Fully customized 2D avatars can range anywhere from $100 up to a few thousand dollars, depending if you hire both an artist and a rigger. It really just depends. Don't wanna commission someone? Well, 
There are live 2D prepaid models you can buy for as little as $10 on Nizima. That's how I found Calorie Chan originally. Despite the potentially expensive cost for your model, you're commissioning a professional. Remember the saying that you get what you pay for? Well, you really do with 2D models. It looks more like traditional anime. It's all about the aesthetics, bobas, and there are so, so, so many different styles that can portray your character. Join us in the 2D waifu cult. I mean, if you want to have full artistic freedom for your avatar, then this is the perfect choice for you. Now, what is a 3D VTuber? A 3D model is a model that is developed in a mathematical representation of a humanoid surface in a three-dimensional space. This was originally the more preferred model type among West VTubers when VTubing first started blowing up last year or so? Do you like maths? No? Well, I hope you paid attention in trigonometry because I'm about to drop some terms that might ring some bells. 3D models use polygons. These are computer generized which allows your character to be 3D. The animations for 3D models are incredibly fluid since there is a lot more technology behind creating them. Just like any mathematical formula, it's easy to cut and paste 3D models by using presets. That is, if you want to use a more base set Vroid model. Some people can make models from scratch though, which is a completely different process. So how much does it cost? It can cost you zero monies. That's right, zero monies. You can literally become a VTuber within minutes by this. But what if you don't want to copy and paste model. Well, then you can commission someone to make a 3D custom model for yourself or you can learn animation and make the model straight from scratch. You can use a program like Blender or Maya and you can literally just build the whole structure of your model and have it look as customizable as you want. However, this will also take some time and you're going to need to know how to make 3D models. The price range for this can vary because it really depends if the artist is using a Vroid base or if they're making the model from scratch and Blender. There are other 3D animation programs to make your models. I'm just not really aware of all of them or how well uh, they are to use in terms of easiness. I think using a Vroy base model is probably the easiest because it already gives you the base. It gives you the bone structures to allow your model to move. The bone structures are basically telling the polygons how to move in what specific way. So you can have all of that just by using a Vroy model. Whereas if you were to make it from scratch, you have to insert all of that structure and animation manually. Something to keep in mind is that there are not as many 3D model commissioners compared to 2D, but you don't need to commission someone if you're okay with fiddling around with Vroid and using a lot of cool presets, or you can learn how to make certain stuff in your Vroid application. There are actually a lot of YouTube videos showing you how to do hair, how to make ears, how to make tails, and all sorts of other crazy stuff with the Vroid model. However, if you're going to be a 3D model, especially if you're using just Vroid, then be prepared to only pretty much be human. Well, kinda. You can be a dog, a bunny, a cat, or whatever has ears and a tail. But beyond that, there are kinda some limitations to what kind of VTuber you can be if you're gonna use a Vroid avatar. Like, it's really difficult to become a mermaid or become half horse or a half bat or a snake because in the Vroid application, you can't really change the limbs of your avatar. You would have to make that custom in Blender or some other 3D animation application. But besides those technicalities, what super awesome cool things you can do as a 3D VTuber that 2D VTubers can't? Well, you get full body tracking. That's right. If you ever wanted to pick your nose live on stream, I mean have full hand, fingers, legs, and body control, then you can. There are so many different technologies out there to assist you in full body tracking and newer technology is always coming out for it, which means better integration and tracking will be in your hands, literally. However, be prepared to pay the price for it. This technology can be kind of expensive depending on what you want to do and how much full body control you want. Instead of having to make the animations all custom and one by one, your avatar can technically move as much as it needs to. You just have to to have the right program and hardware to be able to move your model around. I always find it funny when people try to say that 3D is cheaper than 2D because it really isn't. The starting costs for 3D models are cheaper, usually. But if you want to enhance your content, then you will need to buy a lot more tools later on, especially if you want to get that Code Miko vibe. And this technology can get kind of expensive. You could be very simple and just have your typical face tracking with your webcam. And then if you want to do maybe hand tracking with Elite Motion, sure, that's not not as much. I kind of view that having a 3D avatar is more of an 
low startup cost, but over time it becomes much more expensive. Whereas 2D, it's you pay something all up front. So Mari, why did you become a live 2D VTuber? Well, simple. I like to put myself in crumbling debt at the beginning of my career rather than later. Plus, I want to have the closest feeling to be an anime waifu as possible. All right, Bobas, to summarize, the startup cost for a live 2D model is a lot more expensive compared to 3D. But depending on how you view your investment to become a VTuber, it might actually be cheaper in the long run. 3D VTubers have a lot of various technology being developed that all cost money depending on how far in terms of tracking you want to go. It can end up costing the same or even more depending on how far you go down the VTuber rabbit hole. And that's perfectly okay. There's nothing wrong with what route you want to go in if you want to become a 2D or a 3D VTuber. It just depends on how much time, investment, and determination you want to put into becoming a VTuber. So ask yourself this, how much money are you willing to spend right now to become a VTuber? Then ask yourself, how much money are you willing to spend down the line in your VTubing career? If you're just doing this for fun, then you don't need to shovel out tons and tons of monies to get started on VTubing. You could literally start right after you're done watching this video and you know, of course, leaving a like and a comment telling me how you just became a VTuber or you know, maybe subscribe to the channel as well unless you wanna go to say so hell. Either way, regardless of what you choose, you are still valid as a VTuber, so anyone who wants to tell you otherwise of a, oh, you have to be a 2D VTuber to be a real VTuber, they can go kick stones. And more likely, they're probably just salty that you look a lot cooler than they do. So, what VTube team are you going to side with? 2D or 3D? Maybe Mari's cult? Uh, I mean, let me know down in the comment section below what path you're going to take as a VTuber. I hope this video gave you some clarities and I look forward to talking to you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!